Hello, welcome back to the Paper Turo. This is Mary, and today I'm going to do a Let's Craft video. I am working on a book, a journal for to give away for a um, silent auction. So I'm like really, really hoping this comes out really good and that somebody will actually bid on it. So we'll see. Um, but what I'm working on today is the, um, I'm working on some of the pages and what I have done so far, and I'm not going to show you a lot of it because I'm going to do a flip through when it's finished, but just as a little sneak peek, this is my cover. It is, um, a beach theme and this was a Reader's Digest book. Isn't that gorgeous? Do you see that? Reader's Digest book. It's, it's, oh, I, I just love it. Anyway, <laughs> so I've made the cover so far, and for the back, I just took the tassels off of that same trim and put that on there. And I haven't finished the inside, that's still uh, waiting, but I've put together my signatures. I have three of them. There's actually, there's the third one that I'm working on. <clears throat> And I have the, the signatures tentatively put together. And what I'm doing right now is going through the signatures and I'm basically doing any flat work that I need to do. And that includes stamping. So, so far I've done a few pages in the first signature and I'm going to just be going through and doing more pages and then I will start the embellishing and again I'll do a flip through later so I don't want to show you everything that's in here but one of the things that I've done and I just this is the first time I've done this and I absolutely love it if you can see this page right here um, I did the journaling lines using a piece of corrugated cardboard and that's the first time that I've done that. I've seen other people do it and I, I really liked the look of it. So I grabbed a piece of cardboard and I tried it and I really like it. I, I'm, I'm very happy with how that came out. So I've, I've done that and I've done a little bit of stamping and I've done a little bit of, um, I made a journaling page here or started it. I have to decorate it a little bit better, but that'll come later. And I stamped, I have these little dolphin stamps, so I stamped this um, grid paper, and I did some more lines on this one. This is going to be the center, and I have this pretty little lighthouse stamp that I used on that one, and I just glued a shell on there, and then I have this page, which is what I'm going to be working on right now. I have a few white pages <clears throat> that are the back of scrapbook paper. So it's those white pages that I want to do something on so that they're not just real stark white and, and sticking out there. So I'm going to make another um, journaling spot here. Like I did, I've got a couple of them in here. I did here and I did one here. So I'll make another one here. I want a lot of journaling space in here because I think that probably most of these people aren't going to know what to do with the junk journal. They've probably never seen one before. So I really want it to be um, very simple and something that they can look at and say, oh, okay, I can journal in there. So that's what I'm, I'm aiming for anyway. All right, so my pages in here are five by seven. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use this seahorse paper that I absolutely love. Oh, this goes on another page. And cut it just under five by seven so that it um, fits onto that white page. And I want this part of it to be um, in the right hand corner of the page. See how it's kind of distressed a little bit there so that the cut side is on the inside of the book. So I'm going to just turn this upside down and measure just under seven inches. 
Oh, I meant to change the blade of my cutter. Well, I'll just have to deal with that. And then I need it five inches. I think that'll work, right? No, it's going to be the opposite way. Oh, shoot. No, that's right. Let's just, I need this five inches here. I need this five inches. And I need it seven this way. I'll cut it down. This is why I don't do things on camera. Because <laughs> I always have to stop and think a little too hard about what I'm doing. And just under five inches. That is better. Five by seven with the seahorses going the right way and the darkened corner in the right hand corner. That's what I wanted to do. <clears throat> and I ink all my edges, or not all of them, but I'm inking the edges on this one. And I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And I'm just gonna quickly ink these edges. This edge where I cut is a little bit on the rough side, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. The long strands like this I'm going to pull off though. And I really do need to change the blade on my cutter. That's why that's happening. And it's thin paper. So when my blade is dull and the combination of a dull blade and thin paper doesn't work really well. That doesn't need a lot of inking because it's already distressed. So... I have to excuse my voice and I'm going to try not to clear my voice too much and try not to cough too much because um, I know that that's like super annoying. So this page has starfish and this page is going to have the seahorses and um, I think those will be fun, fun journaling pages and I'll put some decoration on them also. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that today too. I don't want to decorate too, too much before I sew the signatures in because then they'll be really bulky to sew in. But I wanted to take care of the um, the blank pages, the white pages and the pages that I want to stamp on before I sew it in. So that's why I'm doing these. And I don't mind some of the white page showing. That's why I cut it just a little bit smaller. Just kind of gives it a little bit of a border. All right. See, now it's going to mess up on me because I'm on camera. I'm just trying to scooch the paper over just a little bit more because it has to be able to fold nicely over here. Now the reason that I used a glue stick instead of the wet glue is because I feel like that wet glue is just a little bit too heavy and it'll wrinkle up the paper more, I think. This dry glue that I use doesn't wrinkle up the paper too badly. Then what I'm going to do, if I can find where I put it, <clears throat> for the, the lines on the paper, I use this journal. I pick these up at thrift stores and stuff for like 50 cents or a dollar. And um, I just use the, the journaling pages. And I, I do it, um, I have a few of these that have different color lines on them or different color backgrounds or different designs on and I'll save this and use this for something else and they uh, they're perfect for this type of thing and I just tear them just to give them a you know that old look and I'll ink the edges and then I just glue it right on there it makes a real 
nice and easy journaling page. I just had to measure how much to tear up. And, and you don't have to worry about being straight or how um, <clears throat> the size of it or anything because it's it doesn't matter. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be. And then you add just some ink to the edges and it gives it a nice little aged look between the tearing and the inking. It looks really good, I think. So when you go to those thrift stores or those estate sales, that's something to look for is a, a blank journal. Even if some of it's written in, that's fine. You just tear those pages out. But if the majority of it is still blank, this is a really good thing to use them for. I also do it put these on the backs of tags, on the backs of journaling cards that I might stick in here. Um, there's just a lot of uses for the lined paper. I mean, you could use notebook paper too, I suppose. That would work. But these journals come in different colors. And like I said, they have different, um, some have backgrounds. I have one that's kind of like a a pinkish color or maybe more like a burgundy color and it has roses in the background very light and subtle like a watermark but it just adds that little little tiny bit of extra that um, you know notebook paper wouldn't have That is going there, and then I have, um, <clears throat> these are all my shells and things that I have cut out. I cut these out from scrapbook paper. Um, it's all the same collection, so I actually have a little seahorse here, and he's going to go right there, I think. Maybe I'll put a little shell on there, too. A shell and a seahorse. That looks good. So I have all these things that I've been sitting and cutting out that will be going on to all of these pages. Now here's a starfish. I should put him on there. And maybe a couple little shells. And I also ink all of these little little tiny things because it gives the pages a consistency if everything is inked and inked in the same color and when you have these little tiny things that you've cut out and fussy cut sometimes you have white edges on them um, sometimes the my cutting might not be exactly smooth and even, so the inking hides those little imperfections. See, like this one's got a lot of white along the edge of it. I don't know why I left so much white on that one, <clears throat> but that's okay, because I'm going to just put a little light inking on that. There. These are teeny tiny. They don't need much. Yes, I did fussy cut these too. <laughs> that was kind of fun. I like fussy cutting though. It's, um, to me, it's very relaxing. I don't stress out about it. You know, if it's, um, not perfect, it's not perfect. It's, that's okay. It's not a big deal. And I need to find a smaller glue stick. I thought I had a new one out here. <clears throat> but I don't see it. So I use these. I've shown you these in my videos before. These Elmer's Craft Bond. And I think that they work very well. But you 
can't get the school glue. School glue does not hold up well. It has to be the, the craft bond. It says extra strength permanent bond on it. That's what seems to work for me. I, I got more fussy cutting I can do. I just put this white piece of um, scrap of paper, you know, the stuff that comes in the albums in between your pages. I always take those out and I use those for um, like a, a kind of like a craft mat, I guess, <clears throat> so that I don't get glue on my actual craft mat that I have on top of my other craft mat. <laughs> I don't know why I have all these layers of, of these craft mats. I don't want anything to get dirty. <laughs> the first one is a, um, it's a magnetic, um, it's from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's mag, it, I don't know, if, yeah, it's magnetic, and it's a cutting board. It's a good size, so that's what I put down to protect my table, and I can cut on it and not worry about anything, and then, um, the, then I have this, uh, Tim Holtz craft mat on top of it. I'm looking for a paper towel. I know I've got one somewhere. There's a napkin. Um, I have this, the Tim Holtz thing on top of it, which is good for, <clears throat> excuse me, painting, because it wipes right off. But I don't want to get glue all over it because the glue is harder to come off. So when I'm gluing, I use just a piece of paper, or if I'm stamping. And then if I'm not gluing, I can just set it aside. It keeps everything nice and clean. Okay, so there's two journaling pages. And they're going into my signature somewhere. Where was I putting them? Here? Where is it? No, I think it might have been under here. I don't know. I don't know where they were. I think they were here. It doesn't really matter. They'll, be, they'll get moved around anyway, I'm sure, before I'm finished with the whole thing. Okay, so that's that page. Then, oh, I need some glue under there. Then, this page is going to have a flip. So I was debating if I needed to stamp on it also. This is only going to be half of this. I'm not sure if I need to stamp on there. I think I probably will. But I think I'm just going to do this little stamp right here. Thank you. This is a, I don't have a lot of stamps. I've never been like big on card making and stamping and stuff, but I've been picking a few up lately. And then there were times when uh, people gave me stamps or I'd be on a little card making kick and I'd buy some stamps. And, um, so I have some here and there. And that'll be good there. Okay, that'll be cute. 
So I have some stamps here and there, but it's not, I don't have a lot. So I'm very limited in what I have to work with for these pages. And I don't want to keep duplicating the same stamps over and over and over again, because that just, you know, that gets boring. So the, the few big stamps that I have, I'm going to just use those once in each signature. And then the smaller ones I can do, you know, maybe a little bit more with. So then I have this page here that I would like to do something on. But again, I don't want to use the same stamps. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I won't stamp on this one. Maybe I'll put some trim on it to give it some interest or something. But then I have another white page. So I think maybe I will do one more journaling page. That would be how many in one signature? That would be one, two, three. I'm missing a page, that's why. This is supposed to go like this. No, this is going. So I was counting journaling pages. Oh boy, here's another interesting video of me fumbling around. All right, one, two, three, Four. Four, it would end up being like four in each signature. Is that too many, you think? I'm going to run out of background paper to be able to put on those. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to do it because I don't know what else to do on this page. I don't like these pages to be stark white. So let me see what other paper I have that will work on this page. That's pretty, but it's not big enough. I have some background pictures. Again, not quite tall enough. And this one's pretty cat hair. I could put a solid underneath it, I suppose. Hmm. Well, this one's really pretty, but I don't know, that one's too big. I don't know what I'm going to do with these big pictures. Alright, let me do something with this instead of making another journaling page. I'll do something with this. I could make it a pocket. I have to put on something a little bit heavier, I think. I could make it a pocket. Or I could... Huh. If I did like a, a flip out like this, I'm still going to have a blank white page there. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this a pocket, but it needs to have something a little bit more substantial underneath it um, <clears throat> to uh, firm it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be real heavy. I think I'll just use... Ugh, I don't like that color. All right, let me hold on. I'm going to find the right thing here. I know, I should be more prepared. Oh, 
and stuff is falling out. This is a problem. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have um, cubbies behind me. The I have the IKEA um, wall unit thing with the cubbies, and they're behind me and I have a jammed pack full of paper and um, it was all falling out on me. Alright, which one? I got this one which is real bright and it would really brighten things up a bit or darker. I'm going to go with the bright. I think I like the bright better. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to trim this down and I'm going to see if I can do that without using my cutter and keep it straight. Good luck to me. Y'all know I can't cut a straight line. I try. Even when I'm cutting along a line, for some reason I cannot get it straight. Let me do just like that, I think. But let me cut this first to see how much of this I might need to trim off so it'll fit. Because this can't be any more than five inches wide and I think I want it maybe just a tad smaller than five inches. Maybe like maybe about like that. And then how high is this? Where's my ruler? Alright, that's five and a half. If I have <clears throat> five and a half on my page is going to come to there. That's really high if I'm making this a pocket. But not necessarily. Maybe I will trim this down just, just a, a titch. Just a little teeny tiny bit. A little bit. Put it straight. Man. Oh yeah, that's that's not straight at all. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm gonna go down this way just a teeny tiny bit. Also, you know what I might do though, just because I have it handy. Although sometimes when I try to do this it tears if the paper's too thin but that did that work okay this is that's what I'm gonna do craft videos I know are not the best because I don't um, I don't know what else what to talk about you know and if I don't have everything all exactly planned out I kind of tend to fumble around a little bit and it's not it's not that I am fumbling it's not that I don't know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing um, it's that I I don't have it planned out so I'm thinking about it as I go along and obviously you can't see my brain going so if I'm not thinking out loud it's probably not very interesting it's probably not very interesting if I were to think out loud either but um, I don't know I just I guess because I'm not 
used to doing these videos. I, I'm not. I, I'm not a not a professional when it comes to this. I'm. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm trying to get more um, adept at them and and more professional sounding. It's just. I don't know. It's taking me a while. I've never liked public speaking. Oh my goodness. I was always so, 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 so shy. Like when I was in school and stuff. And, um, I could never speak in public. I still can't. But I was kind of forced to. My last job, I had to do it a lot. Um, you know, I did take a public speaking class way back in college, and that helped at the time a little bit, but I was never very good at it, and I'm even worse if you could see my face. If I thought that you could see my face, I'd be, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't put my face on the video. I just won't. I'm not that outgoing. I can't do it. I think I need to trim off just, just a real tiny, tiny, tiny bit on here. So my public speaking class in college helped me a lot, but then I really didn't need to speak in public very much. And so, um, you know, I got out of the practice and the habit of doing it. And then I got this job, and part of my job, I had to do presentations. And um, that scared me to death at first. And then I, I don't know, I, I, as I learned my material more and more, I relaxed into it a little bit more. And so I ended up being, I would never say good at it, but more comfortable with it. So that's why I felt like I was able to probably do this, um, these type of videos because one, you can't see my face <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not before an actual audience, so I feel like I can just talk and I hope that I'm not boring. Uh, I'll be right back. I have to get my punch. One of these days, I'm going to be brave enough to show you my room, but it is a disaster. It's a total disaster area, so I don't really want to. That will work, and that will cover up a lot of that white. If I have a journaling card or a tag or something in there, that will um, help also. So I'm not going to adhere this right now. See, something like that would fit in there and that'll cover up the top of it. I'm not putting that in there right now. Though. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not going to adhere this right now because like I said, I don't want my signatures to be too bulky before I sew them into the book. But if I know, you know, what I'm doing with them and... That'll help. I, I really just need to go, what I'm trying to do is go through and do all my stamping. So I need to know if the particular page, each page is going to need a stamp or not. All right. And then I don't need any stamping on that one. I'm going to do something else with that one. Okay. So there's one signature. Yay. One signature that I kind of know what I'm doing with. All right. Second signature. I have a white page. So this is going to be a journaling page. So that means I need to find a background piece and maybe I will use the seahorses again. Yep, that will work. So 
I won't do that on camera because we just, um, you just watched me do it, so I don't need to do another one. So, but that's going to be um, what goes on there. And then this one, I will do some stamping on this one, and maybe I'll do the uh, the lighthouse. Is that the lighthouse? Yeah. I have this cute lighthouse stamp. Well, you probably can't see the what it's going to look like, but I'll show you. And I. I really, I like it. It's cute. I'm going to do it this way. And I told you I'm not a stamper, so I don't know, like, all the tips and tricks to good stamping. I just know that I need the flat surface, and so that's why I'm doing the stamping now. All right, this is going this way, right? Yep, so I want this. And I know these are supposed to be like on a block or something, but this, this part of it that is supposed to stick to the block is not sticky, so I know it's not going to stick to a block, which means I'd have to put some kind of temporary adhesive on it and then all that's just too much of a pain to to bother with when this is all I'm trying to do it's got a little bit of something on there what is that Ugh, ink it's ink ah, from the stamp pad that's all right nobody's gonna notice that all right so that's that one <clears throat> and this is how I clean my stamps you guys So I clean my stamps. <laughs> I know, probably not not the right way to do it, but I, I don't really care. I may never ever use that stamp again. Who knows? Alright, so that's that one, and then on the inside of that page. Um Maybe I'll do a fabric flip on that one or this one. And what other stamp can I do on here? Maybe I will just do... I have these. They're kind of cute. So maybe I'll just do... If I do the fabric flip over here, up this side of the paper, um, maybe I'll do some stamps going up here. That's going to need some washi tape or something right there. I'll just do some down here. I like the pelican. I like the sandcastle. So I can do sandcastle, pelican. Starfish. Or I could go Sandcastle, Chair, and Sand Bucket. That's better. They kind of go together a little bit better. I'll do that. These are cute little stamps. I have no idea where I got them. They were in my stash. They've never been used. So, perfect. That's why I don't throw my stuff out because you never know when you're going to end up doing something where you need um, this particular thing. Who knew I would ever need these things um, that I would ever even use these. I don't know. They're obviously just little cheap little stamps. They're on foam blocks, but they're cute. There. I'll put some washi tape up there or something. Okay, so that's that page. And then okay, this was the front. This I'm going to put a fabric flip on. 
Maybe I'll put the shells on here too. Okay, and then the back. What should I do on the back? I could do three more stamps over here, like I did on the front, and do the starfish, the pelican, and the seahorse. They're cute. These are just the cutest stamps. I really do like them. They stamp pretty clear. Surprisingly for such a little things, you know. I like the pelican. Well, there, they're so cute. Okay, so that is those pages. Back in here. And are those going to be next to each other? Okay, so then I have this page. I don't know if I want those right next to each other like that, but I don't have anything else that I could really put there. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. That's going to be the fabric flip, though. I don't know. What am I going to do with these? Because I don't want them to be two plain pages right next to each other. Oh, I know. I'll put a, um, a shell or something on here. Where's my images? That's what I'll do. There's going to be a couple shells. Let's see what I have. I have this. I'll put that on there. And something like that. No, nope, don't like that one. Like this one. Yeah, there that's cute, right? Okay. And you know what else I have to do is, and you know what I have, um, like some of these little sayings, like this, I want to put that on there too. Um, something else that I need to do is ink these edges of the, these pages. I forgot to do that. I think I did that on the other one. I attempted to coffee dye, and this is how it came out. This one was a, a grid paper, and it it really um, it dyed all the the blue grid out of it, which I don't really care. That's fine, um, but there's not much not much real coffee dyeing on there, so I was a little disappointed in that, but. That's okay. I'm gonna. I'll try it again and see if I can get it to work. Um, I bought some. What I used was I used leftover coffee, you know, from that morning's breakfast, and I don't think that I let them soak long enough. But I'm always afraid that the paper's just gonna tear and get destroyed, so I don't like to leave them in too long. 
but I, what I did, or what I'm going to do is I bought some um, instant coffee, and it's like espresso. So hopefully it's really stronger, and I'm going to make the the water, the dyeing, a little bit stronger, so that. Um, It comes out a little darker, I think. That's my plan, anyway. All right, and right about now, I'm going to say, hey, thanks for sticking with me, because I know I don't have the most interesting videos, and um, you're probably not still here, most of you. If any, If any of you are, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, my favorite videos, my, let me put it this way, my most favored videos that people seem to like are the haul videos. And I love making the haul videos. I really do. I have a lot of fun with them. Um, and I have a lot of fun finding this stuff. So those are my, what people seem to like to watch the most. Um, so that's what I'm going to have the most of. But every once in a while, I want to do one of these videos and maybe I'll get better at them and maybe I'll, you know, have a little bit of a following somewhere along the way. I don't know. I'm struggling with it. But it's all, it's all right. It's all good. Should I put a piece of washi on there? It looks a little thin. I think I'm going to. All right, hold on one second while I go grab some washi that might work with this. I think I have some right here. I have two different ones that might work. I have this one, and I have this one, and I think I'm going to go with this one. And I think that I want it half of this. Actually, I could just fold it over. I think I'll do that. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here. Bear with me. I'll figure myself out. I should strengthen that enough. And then this will go on there. I'm not whining, really. So please don't take that as whining. I guess I'm just trying to, uh, I don't know, justify why I don't have many subs. <laughs> And it's, I know, it's it's because I'm new and I'm not known. And I haven't, honestly, I don't promote myself. I, I just don't. It's, I just don't know um, the proper non-vanity way to do it. I'm, I'm on a couple of groups on Facebook. And if somebody asks specifically for some certain kind of video and I have it, then, yeah, I'll stick my name in the, in the mix with everybody else. I'll, I'll put a link to it. But, um... Other than that, I don't. And my channel, obviously, is not my name. So if you don't know who I am, you're not going to associate me with my channel. Which is... It's okay. I don't, I don't mind. Oops. Oh, is that going to stick? Okay, stick, 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 stick. Sometimes if I tell it that, it'll work. <laughs> you just say that over and over and over again. Stick, 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 stick. And it'll, it's supposed to work. Okay, that was weird. I don't know if that's going to stick. I might end up having to put some wet glue on there. We'll see. Okay, so that's not too bad, right? Then... 
right, so that's going to supposedly go there, maybe. I have little bits of my ink pad all over everything. All right, this is going to be covered with this. That'll be there. That'll be like that. That's that's okay, right? Um, one of these. This is going to have a fabric flip, I think. All right, so then I have this page. Um, what should I do on this page? I wish you could talk to me so that you could tell me what to do. Uh, do, 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 do. I have all kinds of... I found all this stuff today. I was putting together some kits to do some scrapbooking, and I was going through all my stuff, and I remembered I had all these things, which I didn't... Um, I had forgotten about. This is a um, die cut pack. I think it might be K. Yeah, it's K and Company. They're old. I've had it forever. But it's got ugh, the perfect stuff in here for this. I'm going to put one of these palm trees on there. If I have one. They might be gone. I don't know. It's still in here. So I found all this stuff and I was like, oh, I forgot I had these. These are going to be perfect. And I use the palm trees. Nope, here's one. Oh, I think it's too big. That's too big to put on there, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like that. It's too big. Oh, well. Might be something else in here. What is this? That's cute. Now, yeah. the little fish. He's cute. If I had one just maybe a tiny bit bigger, I could make it a, um, a tiny little tuck spot. I love, I love the turtle, my paper turtle, like him. Um, let me see. Aren't these pretty though? What, and one side has sparkly and the other doesn't. They're two-sided. Isn't that cool? Now here's a, um, here's a pretty shell that I could make. Mm, not really good enough for a tuck spot, is it? Oh, I don't know. None of these are really big enough to do a tuck spot. I wish they were because it would be cute. Is that one a little bigger? That's a little bigger. I could make that like a tuck spot, right? I think I could. If I just glued down the edge, the very edge of it. I could glue like this whole thing and then down the very edge of it. And then t it, that would be a little bit of a tuck spot, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I don't see anything else here that's big enough except this ship. But I don't like the ship. No, I don't think I'm going to put ships in this book. That shell is super pretty, though. Okay. Maybe... I'll stick that sand dollar there, too. Okay, so that means I don't have to stamp on that page. And so I, these also, I have, they're like 3D, and I think they might be too big and puffy to go on this, in this book. I don't know. I may not use those. And then these are, um, I don't know what you would call them. They're dimensional stickers. They're that, uh, uh what do you call that? The, I don't know what you call them. Let me show you. Can you see how they're, they're like that um, resin type stuff? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use those either. But the die cuts are cool. 
So, all right, those are going to go there. I'm not going to put them in right now, though, because that's just gluing. And really what I want to do right now is get any of the white pages taken care of. So this one I'm going to end up putting trim on the side of, I think. Now this, the back of this page needs, is going to need something, but not stamping, so I'll do that later. And, okay, so here's a white page. So I think I'm also on the white page going to do another journaling page. So I don't need to do that now. Okay, this page needs something. See, I'm, I'm out of, like, stamps. I could stamp the lines on here. That's what I'll do. Stamp the lines and maybe put another shell or something on it. This, this is so fun, this using this uh, corrugated cardboard. It, it's just, I think it's just the coolest thing. And I'm so glad that I, I saw somebody else do this. And that I, that I actually tried it, because it's, it is, it's fun. And because it's so rustic, you don't have to be perfect with it at all. And it just gives you just enough to have some lines there. And then I'll put something down here in the corner. And I have to find my, oh, here it is. A little envelope. And it needs to be a smaller one because... Nope. Try to find just the right combination. Sometimes can be difficult. And I don't know why I'm so picky about it, but I am. I need a little one of those. Ooh, how about a blue one? I think that takes up too much space. Let's see if I have a tiny one. Oh, I have this. I could do something like this. Does that take up too much space? I like that. All right. Then we will do that. Boy, it was fun to cut all these things out. <laughs> Not really. No, really it was. This video is not going to get uh, published. I'm sure. Maybe I'll just wait and do another one when uh, I have something more interesting to do in this book. Maybe when I'm actually making embellishments, the cards and the tags and stuff. Maybe that's when I'll do another video because this one is not um, very interesting. It's just not. I think I'm going to shut it off and finish my finish my stuff off camera and then once I get to making like the tags and stuff I'll be back because I don't want to bore you I really don't I think I'll do that um yeah so, oh, 
if you made it through the whole video, thank you so much for watching it. And if I if I put this up there, I don't know if I will. But if I do, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you got some crafting done while I was sitting here. While we were playing along with this. Um, come back and see me when I do a little bit more. Um, I'm going to be making some tags and some journaling cards and stuff to go into whatever pockets oops, and tuck spots that I put in here. So um, I'll probably do a video when I do that. And you can tune in to watch me do some of that stuff. That might be a little bit more interesting than what I've done here today. And eventually I will do a flip through of the whole book. And I hope that'll be interesting to you. Oh, that one's not bad. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. And um, if you weren't too bored, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.